Turkish Aerospace has completed another two T-129 the attack helicopters for the Philippine Air Force. Meanwhile production of the first batch of 32 S-70I Black Hawk helicopters is proceeding apace from Poland-based Sikorsky aircraft subsidiary PZL Mirlitz. Significantly the Philippine Air Force is considering purchasing additional parts of the T-129 as it has requested government funding for six more units and negotiations with Turkey and commencement however any further contract sightings will depend on budget. In May the Philippine Air Force declared that its first brace of T-129Bs was fully mission capable in the 15th strike way they arrived in the Philippines on the 9th of March. The Philippine Air Force ordered a total of 32 S-70I combat utility helicopters for 32 billion Philippine pesos on the 22nd of February and the first three have already been completed in Poland. Given the lack of large commercial aircraft after Russia wanted an invasion of Ukraine, it is unclear how they will be transported to the Philippines. Antonov Airlines previously delivered 16 S-70I helicopters to the Philippines via flight and 124 but the airways are busy servicing the logistics needs of embattled Ukraine. Sikorsky is clearly on track for the promised head to deliver the first five Blackhawks in 2023, 10 each in the next two years and the last seven in 2026. As for Manila is 12.7 billion Philippine pesos contract for 16 Mi-171 helicopters signed in November 2021 Manila to proceed with the deal however the new government is adamant that it is cancelled and it refused to accept a free Mi-17 offered by Russia as part of the deal. In June incidentally the first Philippine personnel had completed Mi-171 training in Russia before the deal was called off sensing an opportunity the US has made available $100 million in military aid for the Philippines to buy new helicopters such as the CH-47F Chinook for its heavy lift requirement.